in the face of that terrorist attack yesterday. Savannah Guthrie joins us live with the latest from the Pentagon. Savannah? Well, here, Susan, it's what can only be called a very delicate search and rescue operation right now, also a frustrating one, and as you said, a very slow one. Search and rescue teams have been here since very early this morning, but frankly, it is very hard for them to get to the place they most need to get to, the impact point, where that plane crashed into the side of the Pentagon yesterday. It is just too dangerous. The area is structurally unstable. Still, search and rescue teams from Fairfax and Montgomery counties have been through some of the adjacent areas. They are confirming now that they have found some bodies. They have not made any identifications and they will not give numbers. Although earlier unconfirmed reports are saying the death toll at the Pentagon could go as high as 800 people. Obviously, time is of the essence here. The more time passes, the more critical the situation becomes. Anytime you have uh, something of this magnitude, uh, victims in there, if they are alive, clearly are in need of medical help. The search and rescue teams have brought listening devices into the Pentagon, into those adjacent areas, listening for tapping, for voices, for anything, but so far, no signs of life. Not since we've arrived on the scene, although we still feel that there's areas that what we consider viable or maybe a, a likelihood. It's just so hard to say with the tremendous blast and energy if, you know, somebody could have survived that in the areas that we're looking at. So we are all bracing ourselves for a long search and rescue. One estimate was anywhere between three and six days, but clearly could go longer than that. It is painful for everyone in this country today, but probably most so for people who have family inside that building, family inside the Pentagon. We met one of those women today, a woman that is standing here with the media holding her own vigil. She has been here since 1 o'clock this morning. She stands there, frankly, looking stunned. Her husband is a Pentagon worker who is trapped inside that building. Being this vigil here. Why? Um, be, for him and other people, for the people who can't be here. And in case he comes out, I'll be here. Well, as much as it is possible in a situation like this, the Pentagon is trying to go back to business as usual. Many thousands of Pentagon workers return to work today, although we should mention that those workers who are in corridors two through six cannot come to work because the building, those areas, are so unsound and just not safe for anybody to be into. And one final note, Susan, the Pentagon has set up the Pentagon Family Assistance Center at the Sheraton in Crystal City, and this is really just for loved ones, close family members of people who are missing inside the Pentagon to come and get information and support. Reporting live from the Pentagon, I'm Savannah Guthrie. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Savannah. And we should say if there is any uh, ray of light in all of this, it is that uh, estimates of the dead at the Pentagon have changed dramatically over the last couple of hours. We had heard estimates as horrific as 800. Now they're saying perhaps 100 dead at the Pentagon. Of course, we'll keep you posted with that information just as soon as